Hey, it's Jeremy here. Today, I want to be showing you how to create a business card in Illustrator CC. I'm going to show you a few examples of business cards I've designed before. This one was my own. I had my double sided card and my logo on one side, and then just some basic contact details on the other. I did some work for a branding agency. Pretty simple, just bold type. This one was for an individual client. Um, she was a writer. And this one was from a business in the finance sector. So, as you can see, I try and keep my business cards really simple. A business card is all about showing your personality. It's an extension of your brand. So you want to keep it clear, concise, and communicate to your target audience. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new document. Press Control N. And we get our document box up. And we're just going to type in business card. And as you can see, the, the size you want is 100 by 55. That's the standard sizing in Australia. It's probably different in other countries. So keep that in mind. We want the bleed to be at two millimeters because usually that's the standard. Sometimes it's around three millimeters. And you want to put um, the color mode to CMYK because we're going to print the business card and you want to put it on 300 dpi. That's so we have when you print it, it's going to be at the highest quality and it's not going to be pixelated and blurry. And we want to keep the land orientation landscape and millimeters. So that's all good. Press OK. And my guides are hid. So press Control semicolon and you'll see your guides come up. So this is the bleed. So the bleed's good because if I want to um, use this logo and just say I want to use this yellow color. So I'm just going to make a box and I'm just going to use that color. So if you want to use this full color on the background, we have to extend this color to the end of the bleed. Make sure your smart guide's on. So what that allows us to do is when the printer cuts it and it trims the edges, of the two millimeters, um, it means that it's gonna the yellow is gonna extend all the way to the end of the card. Because sometimes if you don't have the color to the end of the card, it's gonna chop it and there'll be white space. So that's why you need your bleed to make sure the print is accurately cutting and it's gonna be precise and the color is all gonna be there on the background. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because I think that's gonna work. And what I want to do, I'm just gonna copy this artboard. I'm gonna go to my artboard section on the right bottom and just press new doc, uh, new one. And I'm just going to put this logo. Maybe actually I want it on this side. So yeah, maybe I want the other one side yellow. Just like that. And just pretend that's my logo. And on this side, you want to have your details. So um, business card shouldn't have too much text on it. It should be really simple. So we're just going to put your name. I'm just going to use my details. So maybe you're a designer or you're a business and make sure you use your align tools. So um, I'm just going to select the text up here and just align it to the artboard. And maybe I'm just going to center my text. And what I'm going to do, press P for the pen tool and just add a stroke. I want to make this stroke black. Just move it like this. I'm going to hold alt, copy this text. And then I'm going to put uh, my title, designer and illustrator or whatever you are if you're an animator or if you're running a business print design business or whatever it is whatever your name is so i'm just going to space that out what i um do you press Control shift and you press um the greater than and less than and that's the quickest way to make them smaller and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to center this to center something really quick you, you, you both select both texts and then you click on the text you want it to align to so I'm going to click that and then I'm going to go up to the top here and press horizontal align center. So now this is going to align to this. And I'm just going to move this a bit down. Make sure the spacing is consistent as well. One thing I really do to check consistency is I'll just press M for the marquee tool and I'll just make a, a box. I'm just going to change the color. And then I'm going to hold shift and alt, drag that down. And you can see how the spacing is not correct here. So what I usually do is I'll drag this down, holding shift and move in there. Zoom in as far as you can. And you can see now that the spacing is more consistent. So I'm just going to delete that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to space this text out a bit. And make sure it's aligned. Just like that. This is how you break up the text and it shows that, you know, there's there's hierarchy. So you've got your name and then you've got your title of what you, of what you are or what you do. I'm just going to boost this up. So this is a bit off. 
Okay, there we go. Let's fix that. So we've got our name, we've got our title. And now we're going to put some contact details. So you always want to make sure you have some um, easy details to contact you. I'm just going to put my number. Not my real number. <laughs> Don't want random people calling me. Make sure it's the same sizing as this, or usually smaller, depending on the hierarchy. So I'm gonna make sure this is similar sizing, just so for consistency and readability. So I've got that, got my number. And usually what I do, I usually change the color to a to a gray. So I don't have any grays at the moment, but I'm just gonna double click the black and just make it something really light. It's probably too light. Just like that. Might make it select it all, make it a little bit bigger. And we might put our email, just hold Alt and Shift. We'll just go jmira15 at gmail. So you can see there's a problem here because the spacing is off because this is short and this is long and it's putting um, this white, too much white space so it puts off your eye. So usually what we can do is maybe drag that up and put it up like this. And you can do what we did before, make this consistent with the spacing. But what I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna break this text off. And instead, I'm gonna bring this stroke down, pull this up like this, make that black. I just like using strokes and breaking up the text this way, just it's a lot more cleaner. And yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, but yeah, so we've got our backside of our logo, and then we've got our name um, of what we do, we're a designer and illustrator, and we've got uh, our email and number. Those are the main contact details that you want, um, but what else is good is putting your uh, website down, and usually that's all you really you need, you know, you don't need too much information, you only want one call to action, um, you only want really one link where people can go to. So yeah, that's that's pretty much how you make a business card. And then what we'll do to save it for print, I'll go to file, and then I'll go to um, save as, and save it as a PDF. So I'm just gonna save this to my desktop. So I'll save one version as a B PDF, and what I'll do, I'll just go underscore, and I'll call it um, print, and I'll go non-editable. Or I'll just, actually, I'll just leave it as print. And then we'll save that. And you'll get these options up. Um, usually, I'll untick these because it will make it um, will make the file more bigger. And then you can make sure this is the highest quality. Mark and bleeds. What we do is gonna make sure that the use bleed settings is on, and also put the trim marks on usually because the printer would want to know if they're cutting the cards up. And then we'll just go save PDF. So now that's saved. And as well, before you're giving it off to the printer, and we're gonna save it as an EPS file. So before we do that, make sure your type is outlined. So I want to select the type, press Control shift 0 or O, sorry. Or you can go to Type and go to Create Outlines. I've already done it, so that option will be there. So now you can see they're just shapes now. And, there's, and you can't edit the type. So I'll just have that. Um, this And make sure this is expanded. So you'll go Option, Expand, and make sure everything's expanded. So the printer doesn't have any problems with type issues or the computer can't load um, the file up. So what we're going to do now, go file, save as. And then what we're going to do, we're going to save it as an EPS or an Illustrator file, depending if the printer has um, Illustrator or not. And then we're just going to go print and we're going to go to um, outlined. But if it's not outlined, you can call it editable. So meaning it's an editable file. So it's just to keep it as a reference for yourself so you know um, they can go back and edit it. 
So I'll just call this outlines. So I know it's outlined and then I'll just go use artboards or click save and just press OK. And that will save that. So now I've got my two files. So I've got my PDF with the trim marks. And then I go to my EPS and that will open up in the vector program. So you can see I got my one artboard. It just saved the one artboard, but you, you meant to save both. But yeah, so pretty much that's all we, we've got the files. And that's how you create a business card, guys. So I hope this tutorial was simple and easy to follow. I look forward to doing more tutorials like this. Let me know in the comments below if it helped you out. And don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week.